Hello everyone. I have this old lamp that I'm bringing back to life. I'm replacing the socket. I'll do that in another video. But the stand is just so beautiful. That's why I'm taking the time to fix it up. And it comes with this cute little shade that needs some love. It's in very good condition. But as, as you can see, it's stained from all the years of the light bulbs being on, the heat from the light bulb. So I thought I would bring it back to life. I'm going to paint it a lemonade color, a craft paint that I had in my closet. and I, That's the color I chose, very pretty. And I did clean it first. I scrubbed it down and it was really dusty and it didn't fall apart. So I thought I'd give it some love. So you can be crafty. I'm going to give this a paint, coat of paint, and stay tuned for the finished results. Hello everyone, here's the finished product you just saw in the picture. I showed you the picture first because I want you to see how the light does not illuminate through the shade. I put way too much paint on this. I should have watched YouTube video clips. I should have gotten ideas on how to paint a, la a lampshade. I, I just never thought I would be wrong. This, it's hard. The light doesn't illuminate through it. I had to massage the paint in. I used a paintbrush. I mean, it came out beautiful, nice and pretty. Matches the neck of the lamp. But I got nervous. I had a larger bulb in it. I went down to a 40 watt bulb and a smaller bulb. I'm going to use it as a nightlight. I won't put a larger bulb in here because when I had a larger bulb, it got really hot. More so than a norm. With this bulb, it works great. So it's supposed to be a nightlight. I'll use it for the time being. Maybe I'll buy another shade some other time. But I wanted to share my mishap with you so you don't do the same. I recommend spray painting it or refabric your lampshade. And that's it. I just thought I'd save you, you know, some time not to make the same mistake I did. Okay, folks. Best of luck. Take care.